Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I am going to talk about the problem range sum query 2D and it is immutable. And the problem index is 304, and the problem is of one of the medium type problem of the lead code. Okay, so given a 2D matrix that is going to handle multiple queries of the given type, that is the sum of the elements of the matrix inside the rectangle. So there must be given some endpoints of this rectangle like upper left corner and the lower right corner denoted by row 1 column 1 and row 2 column 2 respectively and there is a matrix class that we have to initialize with that ok so what we have to output like ok so we have to output the sum of the elements of the matrix inside this rectangle so let me just check or look over the constraints yes it is like for every query we have to output the sum of the reason found by the uh, rectangle having the endpoints upper left corner and the lower right corner ok so basically in this problem there is a it is a problem of range sum query like you can uh, by looking over the problem statement or like uh, the writing the looking over the title you can think like it must consist of a problem including like segment tree but i don't think this problem should be categorized into segment tree you can easily do this problem with the help of simple logics of dynamic programming of uh, prefix sums like in a matrix and uh, like a simple match you can easily handle this problem and find out the best solution of this problem okay so in this video we would be talking about how we are going to have a o of 1 uh, per query that we are going to answer the sum of the region formed by this rectangle in o of 1 time for every query okay so we must have to do some prerequisite calculations okay then only we can answer like in o, o of 1 time for every query okay and you can easily see the sizes of the length of this rectangle can go maximum up to this uh, m and n and m and n can go maximum up to 200 okay so let us try to have a like a overview of this problem with the help of examples and then we will together find it out what could be the best solution of this problem under these constraints okay so let's move further okay so consider uh, this 2d matrix as an example where the cell values as are denoted over here now consider that uh, we have to find uh, uh, some of the reason of this rectangle like this one okay just i'm filling it with a green color okay so consider this uh, that we have to find the sum of the elements present in this matrix starting from this uh, column number 1 up to this column number 3 for the row number 1 up to this column uh, up to this row number 2 okay and suppose we have to find this sum and how we are going to do that for every query in the best possible way now one thing one approach that would obviously click to your mind is the brute force approach that is for every query you are going to just find it out the sum but if you notice over the query it is around 10 power 4 calls should be made at most 10 power 4 calls and consider in the worst case like uh, m and n would be like every time 200 for every query so in the in that case your total number of iterations would vary up to around 4 into 10 power 8 and uh, this is going to cross the normal limit of the iterations normal limit of this iteration is around 10 power 4 or 10 power 5 for every problem okay so we should consider this problem to to be done under this limit that is maximum at most 10 power 4 iterations should be done okay so how we are going to do this in the best possible way now here you can easily see the sum that is coming out to be is, uh, like 14 i think yes sum is coming out to be 49 plus 4 13 and plus 1 14 the sum is coming out to be 14 now uh, you can do easily do with the help of brute force approach but can we just optimize that one in a much more extent so that i can answer in o of 1 per query for uh, for every query that is i am just answering this sum uh, for every query in o of 1 time can we answer that yes we can easily answer that and the logic behind this is like uh, simple maths and you can also call it as a dynamic programming i just uh, I just don't prefer to call it as a dynamic programming because uh, if you consider the logic of prefix sums and suffix sums, it must uh, it must be like very much easier to manipulate this problem and find out the best solution. Okay, so I'm just first erasing this stuff and I'm just trying to just explain how we can just uh, in the case like dynamic program we are just uh, doing some prerequisite calculations. In the similar case as of now i am just doing some prerequisite calculations for this matrix and what is that calculation okay so let me just state it down like okay so for this let's say i am just at this position that is at this cell that is i am just at 2 comma 2 cell 
and the index is from zero best indexing it okay so if i am at 2 comma 2 cell and consider my rectangle whose lower right corner is at 2 comma 2 cell then i am just finding it out the sum for all the cells up to this cells okay if you are not going to understand this no need to worry about okay so i am just explaining it out in much more simpler way that is for every cell i comma j i will find it out what is the sum for all the cells up to this cell and for which cell i am talking about consider that this is the cell i am talking about 2 comma 2 then if i will just uh, transform my matrix to prefix some matrix such that for every cell for every cell i comma j it will denote for the sum of all the cells that is uh, merging into this cell that is for 2 comma 2 i will have the sum for this one okay so i will just fill it out as fast as possible okay so for 2 comma 2 my 2 comma 2 i comma j cell uh, it will denote the sum of all these cells okay and consider if i am at 3 comma 3 it will denote the sum of all these cells for all the cells which are colored in blue okay now consider some more different varieties like uh, if i am at cell 1 comma 4 for which cells it will denote if i am at 1 comma 4 it will denote the sum of all these cells okay it should be like this one if i am at 1 comma 4 that is at this position i am just uh, marking it down with another color that is if i am at this position okay that is this position 1 comma 4 then it will denote the sum of all these cells how we are going to compute this cell and how this value for every cell of this matrix is going to help us for answering every query in o of 1 per time let us try to understand that okay so okay let me first erase this stuff and let us try to take another example where i will explain how this query is going to help us so i will just transform this matrix first into this sum matrix that is uh, into the like uh, the sum that i have explained for every cell i comma j it will just denote the sum starting from 0 comma 0 cell up to this cell such that for every i up to in this range will be less than the lower right corner row number and for every j which is going to be like varying in this range will be less than equal to this uh, column number of this lower right corner of this rectangle okay so i am just transforming this matrix into that sum matrix okay so let us uh, try to do that okay so this is the transformed sum matrix of this when i will also tell how this transform sum matrix we can easily calculate okay so for now you just you can just easily see that suppose uh, our lower end of this rectangle is this position and the value at this cell is coming out to be 28 it is basically denoting the sum of all these cells okay and suppose the value at here is 36 it will denote the sum of all these cells okay so i'm not just talking about the uh, sum of every cell okay so just try to focus upon suppose if we have been given this rectangle and we need to find the sum so what i am going to do is i am just subtracting it out the sum of all these uh, sum of all the values present over these cells from the value of uh, from the value of this lower right corner of the cell that is 28 of this transformed sum matrix and why this is going to give us a, a correct answer let us try to analyze over that and you can easily see that 28 is going to be sum of all these values and if we try to subtract the values of this one 3014 and 351 i will get the sum of only these 632 and 201 and this is going to be valid okay so how we are going to do this in uh, for uh, that is for every query the time complexity would be like o of 1 so that we can pass all the test cases okay so let us try to focus upon that how we can easily do like uh, if i will have this transformed sum matrix and we will have give, been given this rectangle with lower right corner and upper left corner of this uh, coordinates of this uh, rectangle i am just going to add this value that is 28 to our answer and i will subtract two or more than two values and depending upon the orientation of this rectangle that is suppose if this is the rectangle that i have been working upon i will add the value 28 to our, uh, to our answer and i will subtract this value 8 and if i will subtract this value 8 basically i am subtracting all these values present over this cell that is 3 
0, 1 and 4 which is coming out to be 8. You can easily see the sum is coming out to be 8. That is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 8. Yes, sum is coming out to be 8. I will subtract 8 from this value of 28. That is overall I am, subs I am just subtracting it out. That is sum of all the cells over here minus 3014 this amount of cell. Also after doing this I am just also subtracting it out the cells of this type. Okay, If I will subtract the cells of this type it means that now my sum would be would contain this value plus one additional term. You can easily see if I will subtract 3014 for all the cells over there also 351 then my value would be like 28 minus S1 plus S minus S2 that is for this one and for this one but you can easily see I have just subtracted two times the cell that is present over here. So I just need to add this amount again. Okay. So uh, I am just uh, like uh, I am just compressing the entire thing into one statement that is for every lower right corner of this given rectangle for every query just add the value present in the transform sum matrix for this cell present at the lower right corner of this rectangle and subtract the values present over these cells okay like uh, these cells of this that is cell present over directly for this row 1 that is this is defined as row 1 and row 1 minus 1 and uh, column 2 that is uh, as given in this question you can easily see it is like this one the upper left corner is row 1 comma column 1 and upper right corner is uh, like lower right corner is like row 2 comma column 2 then I will subtract this 8 which is actually row 1 minus 1 comma column 2 you can easily see 8's coordinate would be like row 1 minus 1 comma column 2 also I will subtract the cell value of this transform matrix the 9 9 is actually the coordinate of you can easily see this lower right corner has the coordinate row 2 comma column 2 then 9 will have the coordinate like row uh, row 2 comma column 1 minus 1 okay but if there exists some cell which is added twice that is which is subtracted twice i will add once again okay that is the value present over this one okay so in more easier way let us try to understand this on the with the help of coding part also which will make it more clearer okay so i have just submitted the code i think i am just trying to show that all. okay so it is loading loading okay so it is accepted already okay. so you can easily see the runtime bits are 99.84 percentage so what i have basically done is i have taken the maximum size of 200 and for every for this constructor i have just initialized n and initialized m so first I have taken this uh, matrix into my uh, vector 2D vector of defined as mat and I have find the cumulative sum up to the current cell that is starting from 0 up to this particular cell such that the for every i comma j the cell value should be like less than equal to this particular uh, lower right corner of any cell that is for if you consider it as a rectangle if this is like lower right corner of this rectangle. Uh, whose one upper left corner will at 0 comma 0 and you can easily see first I have uh, found this sum and this sum is basic, uh, basically for every column I will try to find out uh, that is for every column I will try to find out prefix sum uh, uh, for every row that is starting from 0 through up to the end row that is row n minus 1 for every column I have just uh, modified the value present at these matrices value present at these cells that is the prefix sum starting from 0 through up to the n minus 1 through for every column you can easily see j is trying to vary from 0 to less than m and for every column i have just found out this prefix sum that is row starting from 0 up to this n minus 1 and also you can easily see after after doing this operation i have just found out the same thing uh, that is the vice versa of the previous one that is for every row I will just try to iterate for every j starting from 1 up to less than m minus 1 I will just try to find out the prefix sum for every row ok you can easily see this will end up giving the value uh, of each cell equal to the cumulative sum of all the cells starting from 0 comma 0 and ending up to this current cell 
the exactly same thing if I'm talking about this one it will denote the sum of all these values okay so this will give us a time complexity around O of n into m okay and uh, for in case of some reason what I have done is like uh, my answer would always be initialized with this one that is the lower right corner value it will denote the sum starting from 0 comma 0 up to ending up to this cell and we just need to take care for the corner cells and corner cells are if row 1 is positive and column 1 is positive that is the exact same case that I have taken over here then my sum would be modified my answer would be modified I will subtract the values present over these cells that is you can see row 1 minus 1 or in the uh, row 1 minus 1 and column 2 that is the value present over the here that is 8 it will basically subtract the value 3014 and again I have subtracted this row 2 comma column 1 minus 1 that is the value present over here that is 9 and which is basically subtracting 351 but you can easily see I have subtracted 2 times some of the cells that is uh, here only 3 is present so I was just adding the matrix present over that is the cell value present over this one row 1 minus 1 and column 1 minus 1 and these operations is are uh, these operations need to be done only when row 1 is positive and column 1 is positive and what about this row 1 is 0 and column 1 is non zero that is we have some cell whose uh, row 1 is exactly 0 that is the upper left corner can vary up to that is can vary uh, for only that is upper left corner will be only present at this uh, row 0 and it will vary throughout the column okay so in that case I, I just need to subtract only this thing I, I just not need to subtract this one that is uh, if my this upper left corner will coincide for this cell the whose row 1 is going to be like 0 I just need to subtract this value 9 I don't need to subtract this value present over there because this upper end of this rectangle will coincide to the exactly the 0th row and similarly this uh, if row 1 is non zero and column 1 is zero I will subtract the exact reverse case present over there okay and finally return the answer so this is going to give us a uh, all correct test cases passed okay if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video